Do you got the vision thing? Simple minds. Let's have a look at some of these uh, salmon and sweet potatoes for tea tonight, Steve, and a little white wine. Oh, that sounds great. Might come round. Uh, let's have a look. Steve and team at local ice cream parlor on Whitley Bay serves a delightful Nutella and vanilla mix. It's delicious. Mm, not for me. All right, Steve, me old mate Dave the Pigeon here. I say, old chum, give my other mate Jace a shout out. Whoop, whoop, it says. Hello, Jace. Don't really know what that means. When we come back after the three o'clock news, Liam McGarry and Mold Flincher picks the non stop oldies. At three o'clock, this is Tom Harrigan. Boris Johnson has used Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator 2 catchphrase, hasta la vista, baby, to end his final session of Prime Minister's questions. The Spanish term translates as see you later, but Mr Johnson's spokesperson said it was his way of saying goodbye to colleagues and that speculation about whether he might go to the House of Lords was hypothetical. The Prime Minister also sets out what he thought he'd achieved in the job. I've helped to get this country through a pandemic and helped save another country from barbarism and frankly that's enough to be going on with mission largely accomplished for now Conservative MPs have just finished voting to eliminate one of the three politicians in the running to replace Boris Johnson. Rishi Sunak, Penny Mordaunt and Liz Truss are still in the race and an announcement confirming who's been knocked out will be made in around an hour. Tory party members will then choose a new Prime Minister from the final two over the summer. The latest official inflation figures show goods and services cost an average of 9.4% more last month than they did in June last year. That's up from 9.1% in May. Our business reporter Sean Farrington says drivers are being hit particularly hard by rising costs. Fuel prices up more than 40% on the year. The biggest one-month increase in fuel prices on record. It's just a reminder of the, the eye-watering experience people have had when filling their car up in the last few months it's actually tailed off a little bit in the last few days for the first time in a while but all of this very much playing into the cost of living squeeze right now the government has given the go-ahead for a new nuclear power plant to be built on the suffolk coast sizewell c is expected to cost around 20 billion pounds and will be mostly funded by the french energy company edf the environmental charity greenpeace claims the plant will push up energy bills and trash an important nature reserve but tom Greytrex from the nuclear industry association disagrees they're wrong i mean look the more low carbon capacity we can get in place uh, the less reliant we are on fossil fuels, the less volatile people's bills will be and the more environmentally sustainable we'll have a power mix for the future. Network Rail is still urging people to travel only if absolutely necessary as services continue to be affected by issues caused by the heat wave. It's also announced that a new team will consider how to make rail infrastructure more resilient during hot weather. A group of experts will look at how networks run in countries more used to dealing with extreme heat and fluctuations in temperature. A UK ticket holder has come forward to claim last night's £195 million Euro Millions jackpot, the biggest national lottery win of all time. The operator Camelot will now check whether the claim is genuine. No details about the winner will be revealed unless they decide to go public. BBC News, it's three minutes past three. Thanks, Tom. Who is it? 